methods. Today I gonna demonstrate how to set up your initial intro initial plugin and how to activate the license. I am assuming you already have purchased your license from our store. If you have already purchased, you just need to go to the elementor.thepluss.com and from there you need to go to the login page. If you click on the login page, you will redirect to login page where you need to put your username and the passwords you have created while making purchase. Once you do that, you just need to press login. After your successful login, you will see a purchase history where you will have all the purchases available over here. Now you just need to click on view details and downloads to download your version. There will be all the details of your payment and you will have your license key from here. You can download the different versions from here. The first one will be your current and latest version. So you can just click on that and it will download itself. Once you download the plugin, you just need to install in your WordPress. Also, you will need this code to activate your license key. We also have options for your purchase history, your upgrade plans, your managed license, your, your recurring payments to generate your invoice and your profile. So let's check it out how to upgrade your plans. If you go to the upgrade your plans and then you will check view licenses. There you will have option to extend your license or check view upgrade options. If you go to the view upgrades option, there are different up options to upgrade your license. You can click any of them and you will have option to upgrade your license. Now let's check how to manage your licenses. Like if you go to the view licenses, you will see the status, the total activation, your expiry duration, and the manage sites. In a manage site, you can see different URLs in which you already have activated your key. Here you can add a new website which you want to activate and once you do that you just need to press add site and this is your license key for all the website it will be the same you just need to copy that and use that after your WordPress installation. Now let's see how to generate your invoice. If you go to the generate invoice, in the generate invoice section, you will have option to add all of your details where you can add your tax or VAT number as well and then you can put, you can click on save billing details and generate invoice that will generate your invoice. Now let's go to the manage license sections now. Let's go to view licenses and let's copy our API key which we already have copied but let's do it again. We have copied that. Here we already have installed the plus add-ons plugin. You can see it over here. You can do by add new and the upload plugin or you can follow the FTP method. Once you install that and activate it, you will have a notice like this where you will have to activate your plugin. After that, you need to go to activate. When you reach to activate, you will have option to enter the key. We are putting the key over here and once we press the activate, it will be activated. 
here you can see the activated message so once you activate that you will have all the options for a plus designs so you can download the templates you can import them using this option right so you will have all the accesses of plus listing and the plus design after the activation if your section is not activated your plugin is not activated let's deactivate for now you will not have access for the plus design you just need to verify it to make it work so you just need to activate it So I think these informations are enough for you to understand. If you have any other queries, you can reach to our support center. Now, if you want to reach to our support center, let's click and go to our support center where you can search for different public tickets from where you can resolve your issues. There are lots of tickets available to find the solution you have then you can submit a ticket where you just need to select from store and where you again need to put a license key which we have copied from our store and then you can register you can enter the subject of ticket you can add related url and the description and you can submit that ticket so these are the installation steps for you from the plus add-ons if you have any other questions feel free to reach us using comment box below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video